Ghana's case count of the coronavirus stands at 132 with three deaths. The rapid increase in cases has heightened fear and panic, as well as caution among the public. Aside from the closure of schools, some Ghanaian workers have been forced to work from home, all in a bid to stay safe. These situations, coupled with travel restrictions, have slowed down economic activities as some businesses like hotels have even laid off casual workers due to low patronage caused by the pandemic. Restaurants, which are considered essential service providers because they offer food, have also been affected by the situation. The very known and busy ones are now unable to host people who patronize their services. The restriction on public gatherings and the practice of social distancing to curtail the spread of the disease means that these usually busy restaurants cannot be the same in the meantime. Some of Accra's popular restaurants like Starbite and Jamrock restaurants, both located at East Ligon, looked empty with a handful of customers when City Business News visited. Jamrock, which usually combines its sumptuous meals with some good live reggae music, has lost that feel for the moment. These restaurant operators are now forced to serve more clients through online purchases and takeaway delivery service, which sometimes come at a higher cost to them and reduce their profit margins. Some say they have even resorted to free deliveries just to stay in business and increase patronage. We started feeling the impact two weeks ago when the initial broadcast was made by the president and um, that very Friday, we saw our numbers reduce drastically. Our seating was normally full on a Friday evening. We had less than half of the guests seated. And Saturday was the same story following the, the other days as well. So as we were following the news, we realized that they brought in a new term called social distancing. It has affected everyone, uh, including Starbucks. So we are not exception when it comes to this pandemic, we've been affected. We are taking delivery seriously. So every branch, we have stationed um, three motorbikes that do deliveries. And we are doing free delivery because, you know, our customers want to eat. So, um, but some of them are also afraid to come out. So we decided to do free delivery to about three to four kilometers from each branch. So every branch, about three, four kilometers, it's a free delivery. Just like some hotels which have laid off casual workers due to low patronage, some of these restaurants have also sent home some workers until the situation improves and life returns to normalcy. Manager of Jam Rock Restaurant, Elizabeth Olympio Emanuel says, cutting down staff remains the only option to avoid total closure. It has really impacted so much that we've had to lay off some of our staff already and focus basically on deliveries and takeouts. So we encourage people to drive by, call us in. We are looking at tweaking our menu a little bit to cater for the Ghanaian palate so we stay alive in this tough, tough period. It's really a tough period. So you were telling me about laying off workers, about how many have you laid off? Um, we have a skeleton staff team right now and uh, we've laid off 30 people. So how many are left? Um, we have 15 left. These popular food joints say, although patronage has gone down, they are still paying all utility bills and taxes. They believe a deliberate decision by government to cut some taxes or reduce the cost of utility can sustain their operations. We really do need to hear from government towards um, SMEs and uh, small business owners like myself. I'm running a business on a bank loan. I'm expecting to hear from my bank to say that we are holding on with repayments, holding on with um, uh, taxes for a period of time, because we are really struggling. And uh, if the tariffs don't reduce, it means a lot of businesses may not be able to even come back after this period, because every each one of us, well, my staff, myself, we are one paycheck away from poverty. And it is the truth. Yeah, we are still paying the same utilities. So um, we will plead with government to reduce the utilities. As in because if you go to my kitchen, the freezer is still on because we have food staff in. We still want to serve good food, fresh food. So we are not putting off or shutting anything down. So we are still running the same uh, unit of electricity 
we are still buying water. So when it comes to utility, nothing has changed. So we will plead with government if, in his own wisdom, he will reduce the utilities, as in ECG, water bill and others, we will be grateful. While these restaurants are recording losses, Korea service providers appear to be making some gains as demand for their services for all kinds of deliveries have gone up. The restaurants, for instance, now rely on them more than ever to deliver orders to their clients. According to them, they are even overwhelmed by the high demand for their services. Stacy Opari is CEO of SO Korea Logistics. The gains, yes, because there's a lot more pressure on us. Most people at home and then they would want stuff moved. You'd have people calling for with a shopping list. Oh, can you go here and buy me stuff? Can you go there and get me stuff? So there's a lot, there's a lot more pressure on us. Obviously, if there's more pressure, it means there's more money. So it's not that bad as, as, as I expected. Yes, it's, it's okay. So you made gains? I've made gains, yes. Okay. Can you tell us by what percentage? Um, hmm. I'd say about 20, 30%. We are able to meet demand about 90% because um, the pressure is, it's, it's, it's insurmountable. It's, it's crazy. You'd have um, people like ordinarily who wouldn't call because they would prefer to move around. But there's so much pressure and it's overwhelming, but we are doing our best to, yeah, to meet the demand. So what happens to the 10% that are not met? Uh, well, we count our losses and then we try to make um, amends. We try to um, see how best we can, we can handle it. We're working on it. Korea services seem to be cashing in on this development. However, restaurants seem to be bearing